Greetings, this is Gintian, and today we are playing on the Demiurge server on Minecraft 1.19.3. And today I am building a super smelter, but not a very large one. And I prepared the area behind me. But first, it's nighttime. I want to sleep through the night. And here we go. We're going to start off with the furnaces. And we'll start placing them down like so. This is a furnace. It has an input and a fuel and an output. You can either put things directly into the furnace or you can use hoppers. If we put fuel in the hopper that points to the fuel, it goes into the fuel. If we pick what we want to smelter, in the furnace. We add it to the top and it also goes into the furnace. And we can pull out using a hopper. And as each item goes through, it is automatically taken out. Hoppers move items, but there's two directions. This hopper could go down or to the left. It turns out hoppers always go down first. So then this hopper would go down and this would go left. So if you fill items into this hopper, it will go, they will go down through here and end up in this bottom chest. It will fill this bottom chest before it starts filling this top chest. And then I want to dig down right here, one block, there's a glass block right there, doesn't have to be, build this across. Okay, I'm going to come back over here and I want to dig this out. Of course, it obviously helps that this back here is not, is also already dug out. Certainly makes life easier. Okay, and now we have, including this one. Now I want to put the hoppers that pull the pull the stuff out of the furnaces and put them into the hopper line in front of it
let's try that. And there we have that. Now that hopper line will take the contents that have been furnished, smelted, and pull them forward into this hopper line, which will take them down to this block here. Now, we also need the inputs. So I'm just going to go across here. And then we'll also have the fuel inputs. I'm having some added difficulty due to the terrain, but you get the idea. I seem to be stuck by ghost blocks. There we go. So we have our inputs, our outputs. And I'm going to actually take up these two add two there. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. to go back around in front and from here we actually want to take our powered rails and go all the way across including the blocks on the ends think about it I actually need two more blocks so I could have one go up and I will do the same on this side or just remove that and that, then I can as so. That gives us our inputs there. So a minecart is going to go back and forth. just set that there it's going to go back and forth collecting and depositing whatever it is that we need 
to smelt. Okay, what I've added here on the back are these three glowing frog lights. They don't have to be frog lights. They could be anything that you want that provides light. Just helps light the place up. And a redstone torch on all three. That gives you the powering of the rail. And then up here, next to the glass block, I put the chests. And these are the input chests. And so this will go back and forth, back and forth. And all of this will smelt. And the next thing, all of the output will come out and filter into one location. So all that's left here to do is to come up with a either set of chests where you can load the fuel for all of the furnaces or you can set up something more industrial either way either way I think that particular frog light with the redstone torch is going to be a problem. It gets in the way of our chests that we'll use to import the fuel. Yeah, that's going to be a problem. I need to figure out a better way. Let's just get rid of that. And then we can come up here. No. Maybe. Well, that would solve the power problem. But it looks like crap. I don't think we want to do that either. Never going to find those. So let's go around back and look at another solution. Okay, the next step is I had to remove that one light that was in the middle and that causes this problem where it doesn't have power. So I'm just going to, it is, I believe it's only one or two tracks. So I've got normal tracks. I'll just take these off. Put normal ones on. And it's back to working. Now let's work on where the fuel will be stored. Next, we are going to want to start building out the area that will provide the fuel. I have put in chests across all of these hoppers, then added a line of hoppers that point into the chest, and finally added a row of hoppers that go across the top here that can fill in all of these. Now it's just a matter of picking my fuel and building out the area up here ooh, to do it. And meanwhile, let's not die in lava.
close that off. And close that off. And then we'll go back on to moving this backwards to create the area. And I will come back to you in just a moment when I have that done. Okay, I am using hoppers to come all the way back to this point back here, create a box four by four, add in here a piston and an observer, put these two blocks here, redstone on them, and a lever here so that we can turn that on and off. Now, to finish this off, we just put these here, and then we can take our coral fans and add them there and then we take our white carpet and we're just going to add them there and now if we turn this on it starts mass producing carpet which I realize is a cheap way of doing it but that's what I chose and just for grins I'm going to block this off and let that go get to going Meanwhile, this is over here filling up, and once again, I am going to sleep for the night. And let's check this. These are piling through. They're going through there. one there okay this is garbage in here there and I'm going to and it's filling this up so, looks like I got that. This is gonna take a little while, so I'll be back in just a moment. And it looks like this is going to sequentially fill these up, going across here. Couple of those a second. Once this chest is full, it'll move on to the next chest down the line. It's going to take a while. Probably not the most efficient, but it is certainly one of the easiest sources of fuel to build. And there's my smelter. It is definitely iron intensive and not terribly efficient but it will get the job done and once all of it is fired off it'll actually smelt things pretty fast and that's all I have for today I hope you enjoyed it thank you for watching and I will talk to you later goodbye